So I'm reading this article the other day on what key things to repair in your house before putting it on the market. I started thinking to myself, if I was to pick four things, what would it be? What would I suggest to clients on four things that absolutely have to be repaired prior to put your house on the market? We're gonna talk about that next. Stick around. Hey everyone, it's Matt here with the Matt Allen Real Estate Team. I hope you're having a good day today. Thanks for joining me. Today we're gonna to talk about four things, four very important things you must, must repair if, if it's in need of repair prior to put your house in the market. Now these are things that a lot of buyers take notice of when they're going into the house initially. And it sometimes draws them away from the actual value of the house. So. In order to alleviate that, get these things fixed, we're gonna start with repairing floors. If there's any flooring, carpets, anything that has stains, uh, that's broken or cracked tile, as long as it's within reason, you definitely wanna get that fixed. So that's number one on my list. Make sure your floors, carpets, everything is clean and repaired. Next on my list that causes a ton of questions is water stains. If you have water stains on the ceiling or on the wall, make sure you're addressing those. And when I mean addressing, I don't mean taking a can of paint and painting over it and then pretending it wasn't there. Have it looked at, make sure whatever's leaking is repaired and it was fixed properly. Water stains can cause buyers to run for the hills. I can assure you of that because I've had this happen recently with the hurricanes. So make sure those are dealt with. So that's number two on my list. All right, you with me so far. Number three on my list is screens. Making sure your pool and patio screens are fixed, that they're doing what they're supposed to do, which is to keep bugs out. Hire a professional. Don't try to do this yourself unless you're really good at it. Um, screens are kind of a lost art these days i've actually hired several people that have done them wrong anyway and they're supposed to be professionals so make sure they're fixed make sure they're working the way they're supposed to right along with that make sure that any pool enclosures or patios are clean pressure washed now is the time you want to invest in having somebody professionally uh, pressure clean it that way you know it's looking good when you put it on that market. All right, the last one on my list has to be lawns and landscaping. First impression, you guys, you gotta make sure that house looks good the second they pull up. And if they're looking at a lawn that's mostly dirt and weeds, overgrown trees, things that just are very unsightly, they may just keep driving, so make sure make sure your irrigation is working your lawn is looking fresh uh, if you need to put in a new lawn that can be expensive but it may be worth it to show that the house is being well cared for remember buyers are paying attention to everything and i always point this out to my buyers if i go into a house and they've got clean you know cupboards clean floors the um, lawn is virtually looks new all those things are very good for a buyer to know that the house has been taken care of. So keep that in mind. All right, you guys, I'm going to give you one bonus. I know it's not really a repair, but I want to put it on my list because it comes up every time. If there was one room in the house that makes a difference between somebody moving forward with an offer or not, it's going to be the kitchen. If you have the budget, and your kitchen is in need of renovation or kitchen needs a, of updating, now is the time to do so. Even simple things like flooring, appliances, fixtures, your, your new faucets, your uh, light fixtures, things like that. Try to update those, modernize them. Um, make them look, you know, I always say that, that wow factor. You want somebody to walk in and go, oh man, they've been taking care of this kitchen. You know, this is, this is sure the sign that I want to move on to the rest of the house and probably make an offer. So keep that in mind, you guys. If you have any questions, drop them down below. I'm always available to answer, especially if you're here in Central Florida. Let me know where you're from, and, and I'm glad to help if I can. Thanks again. We'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.